Arrowhead of the National Park Service, Little Rock Central High School, National Historic Site, Elizabeth Eckford, and the Long Walk. 65 years Rangers ago, on September 4th, the Rock first Central day of school, school for 10 children, later those nine children that we now know as the Little Rock Nine, was supposed to start here at Little Rock Central High School. Up until the day before, those 10 children were not even sure if they were going to be allowed to attend the school due to the governor's concerns over safety and so-called threats being made and the school board's desire to delay integration. The afternoon before on September 3rd, the 10 children were instructed to come to school and Daisy Bates, the children's mentor, had instructed those children to meet up at a location not far from where we are currently at so that the kids could walk together as a united front, protected and sheltered by area ministers. However, that evening, late on September 3rd, Daisy changed the plan and quickly started calling the families, instructing them to not first send their kids to the school, but instead to her house, thinking it would be safer for everyone to arrive together. Not everybody got that phone call. That includes Terrence Roberts, who later said he's not sure why he never got that phone call from Daisy Bates, because he did have a phone. And then there's Elizabeth Eckford, who famously didn't get the phone call because her family didn't own a phone in the house. The next morning, Elizabeth got up. She put on her new dress that she had made herself for the first day of school, wanting to look her best. Elizabeth knew that her parents could not afford to send her to college. She was one of six children, but it had been her grandfather's fervent hope for her that she would go to college. She says he always said to her, when you go to college, not if. So she looked at the opportunity to attend the prestigious Little Rock Central High School as a chance to be able to qualify for scholarships so she could afford to go to college that way. When she got on the bus to school that morning, she may have been thinking about what any kid might be thinking about on the first day of school. Will they like my new clothes? Where am I gonna sit? Will I make any friends? She certainly was not thinking that she needed to be brave, to be strong, because she truly did not think anything bad was going to happen to her that day. She had seen Governor Faubus' address two nights before where he had said the Arkansas National Guard would be here to protect the citizens of Little Rock. And she knew the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution meant that she was a citizen. She thought they were here to protect her as well. In total, Elizabeth Eckford will make three attempts to get inside Central High School on the first day of September 4th, 1957. On the third attempt, a guardsman finally tells her that he is under orders to not allow her kind into the building. At that, Elizabeth will be forced out into the street, into the middle of Park Street. Quite literally, the lamb is thrown into the lion's den because lining Park Street on the opposite side of the school were protesters, 200 protesters who had been out there for two days already chanting, we ain't gonna integrate, go home, screaming at her, threatening her. One man held a noose. Screen Elizabeth will be trapped. She will not be able to go back the way that she came to. She has no choice behind to continue her. walking down Park Street. It's while she's walking in between these two houses behind me that those famous photographs of her being tormented and screamed at are captured by Will Counts. Those photographs captured the attention of the nation and of the world. All the eyes of the world are watching us became the headline attached to this event here in Little Rock. No longer could people look the other way when a 15 year old child could be blatantly tormented in broad daylight when all she wanted to do was go to school. Elizabeth will continue walking down to the bus stop on 16th Street, thinking it was her salvation, thinking it was uh, a safety point for her. She thought if I could just get to that bus stop, I'll be safe. She'll sit down there for 45 minutes waiting for the city bus to come get her. While she walked down there, she's being spit on. She's being continuously harassed and threatened. 45 minutes sitting on that bus bench, waiting, wondering. And all she wanted after all of that was her mother. When she left Central that day, she did not go straight home. She first went to the deaf and blind school for Negro children the day the Arkansas School for the Blind and Deaf, where her mother worked, and she collapsed into her mother's arms. The screen fades to once again show the arrowhead of the National Park Service, a Little Rock Central High School National Historic Site, with accompanying social media handles and logos.